Hello? Hello? Oh, sorry. Watcher, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ian, Essential Handyman. Today we're reviewing these, which is the Beats Studio Buds. Not something typically reviewed on a DIY stroke handyman channel, but bear with me. Um, I bought these for two reasons. A, I love my music, and B, I wanted to get some sort of um, noise cancelling headphones, because noise in a workshop is quite bad. Obviously, it can affect your ears, and typically, most uh, people in workshops or in a building game will wear ear defenders. These are just basic ones, and they stop, you know, probably 78% of the noise, protect your ears. But I can't play music for them or anything like that. Lots of people use different ones, but I wanted to go for, uh, try these out. Now, I love red, my phone's red. I thought, oh, these are red, these will go over them. I bought these from Costco, they're about £115. And I've used them two or three times now. And I'll give you my review of them from a pure music point of view and a workshop point of view as well. Okay, I've obviously opened these already. It's just, it's a tiny box. There's not a lot in there. We've got um, the section which the headphones are attached to. Obviously I've undone those already. We've got a fast fuel charging lead which is very short, about 250, 300 mil long. And we've got large, medium, and small earbuds. Okay. Sticker, information, bits and pieces, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now, the beats and the, the earbuds themselves, I have situated in this candy little case. Red, love it. Um, first thing about the case, it can charge your, phone, your headphones, it's really nice case, uh, but one thing I noticed, this is a bit flimsy at the back. I can see that, got quite a lot of movement and it flexes. I can see that breaking. I don't think it's that well made. Um, the buds will fit straight into the case. As soon as you put them in, they start recharging. The buds themselves, nice design, very much like them. Their noise cancelling is okay. It's good enough for a workshop. In terms of music, they're not as good as wired headphones. They're not as good, I don't think, as the Apple ones. They got quite. They do quite well on the bass. They miss. They miss something at the high end and in the mid range. To be honest with you, they're not brilliant. But they're only only one hundred and fifteen pound. And some of the Apple ones, obviously go up to sort of nearly 300 pounds. So you can't compare literally apples with oranges, apples with apples. Um, you can't compare these to the top range Apple ones. They're okay. My biggest gripe with these, and this is why I am taking these back to Costco where I bought them, as soon as I finish this video is, the feedback you get through your ears is terrible. Now I'm literally not gonna do a big review on these headphones. Because they're not worth it taking it out they fit in the ear quite well i've got no problem with the way they fit in the ear however when you you can when you've got them in you can hear yourself breathing first time i bought these i tried these about three weeks ago and i had a little bit of an ear infection for two days i thought it was feedback from that so i left it i used them a couple of times and i used them again couple of days ago no ear infection for the last week and a half it cleared up same feedback gave them to my daughter yesterday but i'm talking to you now and my the, the noise in the right ear is so much louder than the noise in the left the feedback i'm getting is not good it's a vibration my daughter i said to him go for a walk with them see what you think she said they're okay if you're walking slowly as soon as you up the pace or if you run you get a vibration in your ears, and that's exactly what I get. So if you literally put these in, not talking about walking, talking about just a, not talking about running, talking about just a walk. As you walk, in your ears, you can hear boom, 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 which is terrible. And in terms of the, um, the noise cancelling, they're pretty good. They cancel noise, but they, they re, the, the noise from the reverberation of you walking comes up your feet. So this is a very quick review. These things, they look fabulous, but they're going back. I really, really don't enjoy them at all. And I'm going to be going back to these. These are my Bose Wired Sport. I think they're called Quiet Comfort ones. They fit into your ear. 
you can run with them, you can do whatever you want, you get no feedback, they don't fall out. Yes, you haven't got noise cancelling. Yes, you haven't got the freedom of not having wires, but the, the, the quality of noise is far superior in these Bose ones. And you could jump up and down to your heart's concerned and it doesn't transfer back into your ears. Honestly, Beats Studio Buds look fabulous. I would advise anyone to buy them. I know regular viewers of the channel will know that I'm normally upbeat and positive and I don't normally rain on people's parades. Everything I do is generally positive, but today is negativity. I'm sorry, I'm not a negative person, but uh, i just got to get the message out there. I'm going to continue looking for a decent pair of noise cancelling headphones for the workshop, uh, especially ones that can play music as well. And when I get some others, if they're good or bad, I'll feed back on those for you. But in the meantime, it's back to these and the noisy machines. See ya!